When you think of childhood Roblox YouTubers, you might think of Albert, Poke, Dennis, or even VuxVux. Something these first three people have in common is that they cannot compare to what VuxVux is up to now. He has somehow gotten away with faking all of his videos in something so disturbing that you have to watch the whole video to understand. It started on the 25th of November when I decided to pay VuxVux's channel a visit. Little did I know this visit? What turned into me finding out the craziest shit about this dude. First off, I want to talk about this dude's videos now, bro. My sister got pregnant by my bully, Roblox Brookhaven Roleplay. Girlfriend exposes my secret baddie romance. Like, what are these videos now, bro? You guys, I watched this dude as a little kid. The way he talks is appealing to the little kids. Ew, look, online daters. Mm, my wife and I were playing Roblox. So why is he making these types of thumbnails? The one to the right is way more concerning. Is he promoting online dating now? Is this nigga promoting online dating? Is that what he does now? Now I want to say real quick, I'm not innocent. I used to make these types of thumbnails when I used to expose online daters back in my day. But I genuinely had a cause to do so. You feel me? He's making these types of thumbnails for a little baddie romance of Roblox. This video just seems like an attempt to get more views. Because y'all see the thumbnail, bro. Y'all see it. All of his videos are just screaming fake to me right now. He even has a video titled, My Step Bro Try to Kiss Me in Roblox. This nigga always has a family and in most of his videos and back in the day he didn't these are all actors i'm telling y'all and with this video i sneak inside a girl's only sleepover in roblox he got inspiration from real life videos he's you, you're not there's no way you're gonna remake that with roblox because the relax videos is fake too they're hyper to appeal to little kids so they can watch till the end of the video so i can only imagine how this video is like and these type of things do not happen in roblox that's the thing i'm catching on these things don't happen i, I i'm telling you myself from experience these things do not happen it's certain things you can't just do just because you're getting views and i feel like vux vux is not thinking at all now together we're gonna watch one of his videos so i can really show y'all in depth how fake this shit is and also just so you know his videos being fake is not all we're talking about in this video there is some dark shit I genuinely found about this dude just deep, just digging into him, you feel me? But back on topic, we're gonna watch this video titled 3 Witches Try to Date Me. Oh, frip, y'all, this is very clickable, y'all. The hard eyes and shit, the way they're standing, and then the way they say you're cute with the emoji. It's really adding a whole lot of mystery. Like, oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? What is Vuxvux gonna do about this? Now, my point on how Vuxvux is promoting online dating potentially, if we go to the near end, I'm not gonna explain anything. I just want y'all to watch how these witches act. On the bed and vox vox what are you doing get in the bed now all right all right uh what the heck is going on wait what are they doing bro what are they doing hey 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 chrissy coo time bring your whale self here chrissy hey no bro no no we finally got the blood the blood of a simp what the heck bro they're harvesting the blood from me now show us those crystal balls ah! help help Ugh, i gotta escape so make it make sense to me these three witches are telling him to get on the bed and he decides to lay down why because he knows what they're gonna do what are they talking about chrissy coup time and how why is vox vox just letting it happen dude why are you just letting it happen and he wants to make it seem like oh it's nothing crazy because they're just harvesting the blood harvesting the blood right nigga niggas know what you're doing niggas know what you're doing now when I go to his shorts tab, nothing's really bad about that until this one short right here. Ew, look, online daters. Mm. My wife and I were playing Roblox when we saw some online daters getting spicy. So I knocked on the door to interview them, but they spit on my wife. There is no, first off, there is no spitting animation. So how would she know to spit on his wife on cue? So how would she know to do that animation on cue so they can edit the spit so the spit could come out? on the editing software, huh? We then decided to disguise ourselves as babies so they would let us inside. After that, we witnessed unspeakable things that no nugget should ever see. Like the video if I should end this nightmare. <laughs> this is fake. My nigga, this is how you know it's fake, bro. And y'all got the same hair, same hat, same fit, everything. So even as babies, they know, they, they, they know it's y'all. And why are they standing so formal like that? Why? They're doing this in like an orderly fashion, like it's a movie. And you go to you go to the comments of this short. Everyone's like, oh W Vux Vux, he's putting all the data for us. Man got me dying. Like these are all little kids. I feel bad for them, man. Why are they having actors do these weird things, you guys? If if I'm correct, why are they having actors do these weird things for some views? Next short though, my stepmom is cheating on me. I think my stepmom is cheating on my dad. Every day when my dad goes to work, my stepmom runs into the bedroom with her phone. And she always comes back out wearing sus clothes. First off, you do not need a phone. You can just private chat somebody in Brookhaven. Boom, nigga, I caught on to that ASAP. I asked her why.
why she's dressed like that? And she said she was going to yoga class. But bro, it's 11 p.m. and she just hit the wine. Like the video if you think I should spy on my stepmom. What? They really have some late night yoga classes? Wait a minute. He said show me the good stuff and started tossing money on her. Bro, what are they doing? I can't even show you guys this. But if you... He still showed it. You know, you can see what they're doing. And when he blurred it, they're doing the same thing. They're doing the same exact thing. He's just standing there while she's doing the dances. He's just trying to stimulate the little kids that are watching. Now, look, I'm not saying I missed the old Vox Vox. Change is going to happen with everyone. Y'all seen it with my channel, too. Change happens. But this thing is digressing right now, if that's even a word. And you guys saw him. He knows what he's doing with the step. Mom, the step. Dad, the step. Sister, the step. Bro, in the title, y'all. He knows what he's doing. That's the type of shit niggas be watching on porn. Step sis got stuck in the washing machine. So now he's making these sexy provocative thumbnails, these sexy provocative titles. With step bro, step sis, whatever in the title too. He's capitalizing off that right now. Now I wanted to join Buckhaven real quick to see if I'm gonna become like Vux Vux and have a whole step family and see people standing like this and this to the side of the person. I really wanna know if Buckhaven is like this because I've never played it. I've played games that are exactly like Buckhaven and they're not like that. I just want to prove that it is all acting, bro. It is all actors doing this shit, which makes it really weird. What is this person wearing, bro? Oh my god, bro. I played this game for about 10 minutes. I didn't get adopted. I didn't get a step family. Now I want to skip to the video that pretty much solidifies my uh thinking that this whole this whole channel is fake. This video titled Three Barbies Try to Date Me. Now it's more than just the three barbies, all right? Let's dive into this together. First scene, he's working at a Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, and then his boss comes out the cut. First, like, first off, he is just like one of those NPC in those uh those murder games. And considering Vux Vux has a little kid audience, this may be his attempt to like make it really seem like he's the boss. And plus, I don't think these jobs just have bosses like that that are literally using a notepad and patrolling the whole building. Now look, Vux Vux gets fired out of nowhere. And then the boss is like, hold on, I have something for you. Maybe this will work, you feel me? He brings him to the back of the office and there's just a Barbie there. A, a Roblox person, by the way. Not just a Barbie toy, you feel me, that he can hold. A Roblox person. So you know how the rest of the video goes. No! Now I watched some of his wife's videos and I think his wife's videos are actually real. I know, they, they, I know they're as corny as Lux Lux too. No hate. I genuinely think they're real. Remember that claim for later on in this video because I'm about to find out something shocking. Now I went to the server because that one video that I saw at the beginning was so weird, man. I just had to show these niggas what I found, bro. And one of my viewers named Black Gojo said that his little brother watches him and he is seven years old. Seven? Bro! That is younger than I was when I was watching Vux Vux. I think I made my point that his videos are fake for sure. But now, it's time for me to try to talk to him. And this video is what led me to discover some crazy shit. So I want to warn y'all niggas right now. The rest of this video is going to talk about some... I I'll put a screen. So I called up the bros, Swag, Crafter, and Jay Vaughn. And Crafter told me that he made a video titled Spying on My Teacher in the Shower. But it got deleted. He uploaded a video Crafter. titled Spying on My Teacher in the Shower. What? Yo. What? Yo. What? Yo. Uh, Vux Vux, are you good? That's not the type of, like, I know everyone makes mistakes here and there, but that's not a video you should be making. Like, what was the thinking process when it came to making that video? Oh yeah, they're gonna love this. What? This is where the first of many discoveries come. I joined his Discord server, and the first thing I see is that they're hiring body actors that they'll pay Robux for. Smooth Madness's videos are also fake. They have niggas have East for views. Can you think about that real quick? Can you just. Holy shit. Damn. And they might be like, oh, this application is only for 18 and older people. What adult is gonna wanna do that shit for some Robux? Who is really down bad for Robux? Grown people? These niggas is weird. I don't wanna hear none of that shit, bro anymore these niggas is weird when i think of this nigga now oh my <clears throat> so even their spying on online data videos are fub it's even weirder on his part than the online daters that he's trying to expose quote unquote at least they have like an age verification thing but these niggas are still weird i don't give a fuck 
bro is probably you're probably gonna accept it if you say twelve. Be honest, bro. You nah, what a bro. You feel confident enough to follow the script, but also bring in your own personality during the role play. Do you have experience, or what is the what? reason you? Nah, yeah, that shit. Your own Fuck. personality during the role play. Yeah, bro. Yeah, That's this nut shit. Listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out. You know how some kids are like really good at lying. Like some kids could be like thirteen, um, age fishing as like eighteen year olds. And like they could apply for that video with no solid proof, like no ID. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I think some of the people in Bugs Bugs videos are actually kids. You know what I'm saying it's a crazy reach, but like. Uh... So yeah, they're in a call. That's why in sometimes the Velcro's videos, he'll say something with his mic. There's no voice chat whatsoever. This person right here will hear it because it's all acting. I just want to say, bro, imagine your dad walks into you, you're having eat Brooke Haven. Vox looks standing right there. Your dad starts getting mad. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? And you gotta explain to him in the eyes. Whoa, chill. This is my job. I'm getting money from this. Think about it. You're basically a Roblox star. Like, there's nothing else to explain it, man. When you do it in real life, you're selling your body for some bread. When you're doing it in Roblox, you're selling your Roblox avatar. Your little, your little hot Roblox avatar that you think is so hot for some Robux. Now, for a small 30 minutes, Swag was just yapping, and I was trying to dig into some shit. I DM this nigga's mods, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna wait a small while. Another 30 minutes later, I still ain't getting a response from the 10 mods that I DM'd, bro. There is not a lot of people in that Discord server, bro. They, they should be able to respond to me. There's niggas literally online, bro. Now, I thought this Z Darlene person was a mod. Remember in one of Luxo's videos, I heard... Oh, God, I hope Darlene doesn't see this, man. I'm literally being forced to do this, Darlene. Z Darlene better not catch me. She'll think I'm cheating. I thought this whole time that this person was just a mod and Smooth Madness was his wife. So that's her channel. And that's her new Discord account. Well, guess what? Her old Discord account is Z Darlene. And this led to the most shocking discovery of this whole video. On the 26th, my Wi-Fi shut off, so I couldn't do a thing. But exactly one week later after this, on the 2nd of December, I hopped back on to see that all 10 mods still didn't respond to me. Now, Peanut responded to one of my viewers and one of my homeboys named Tom, but Peanut did not respond after that. He just egoed him. Like, you're, you're nothing, Peanut. You're nothing. Why are you doing that? I don't mean to say it like that, but it's like, it's real shit. You're just like everyone else. No matter how much fame your homeboy gets or you get, stop, stop being egotistical. Stop acting like you're special. We went to Instagram, DM'd so many of their friends. To this day, I'm recording this voiceover. It's the 23rd of December. To this day, there's still no response, bro. I went on Twitter and look what Mr. Bullshot said about this. No joke, this video intro is, I just turned 18 and went home to my new stepmom. Actual loser behavior to quit promoting this to kids for money. I'm saying, bro. Look at some most folks was posted. Talking about Lizzy Simulator. Like, what are you doing? You have little kids watching this shit, man. Stop it. Now, Tom was telling me that Z Darlene was harassing some of his people. He hopped in the car with us and showed me some shit. The crafters, swag, told me they joined up. And at this point, I forgot that Z Darlene was his wife and it was just, and I thought that she was just a mod. Z Darlene was arguing with everybody for five years being in the server. All this person does is just argue. Oh, this person. <laughs> this is his wife, bro. And then look what she wanted to send, bro. Ah, uh, bro, what is this nigga saying though? And Z Darlene had a YouTube play button. I don't know why I found that kind of odd. And Tommy even told me that that's Vox wife, but I, I still had that in my mind that it was a mod. But then back in 2018, people were calling Darlene smooth, asking him, well, where's Vox Vox? People were asking her if she had sex with Vox Vox already. Hold on, if y'all niggas don't stay in your business, bro, like, <laughs> first off, what the fuck? But Z Darlene said that he's sleeping. That's when it hit me again. Wait a minute. This is what? But why do you have to share that though? Before we keep going, bro, I want to let you know, although she's a victim, the only reason I'm really mad at her is because she's promoting it to like little kids. An 11 year old literally said, fuck it, I'm gonna move to Germany. What are you doing if that's your daughter, bro? What are you doing? I feel like Smooth Madness was just a cover-up from a hurt from her past. I genuinely do, because Z Dolly, she said some craziest shit. But on Smooth Madness, she said nothing like this, bro. So she definitely changed. Now, I will say, the environment that she grew up in... Listen, first off, everyone has free will, alright? So even with the environment that you grew up in, you, you made all those choices. So why are you spitting it to other people? But I can see that she's probably changed. 
we can't go back and change things but nobody has called this out so i'm here to do that i want to make this clear i wish the best for vux vux and his wife i just had to call all this shit out because nobody has ever and i just couldn't i just couldn't keep it inside of me you know what i mean nobody's perfect but what they're doing is unacceptable it can't just be normalized because it's getting views it can't what is their intent with doing these things at this point i really question it i genuinely think it genuinely went from passion of exposing these weird people on roblox to just desperacy and they're not thinking right i don't think we're gonna be able to talk to them because everyone they're around which wants to ego me so i want to talk real quick man i i just want to talk real quick for a little bit for a little bit all right look i put a little red thing so y'all know how long it'll be all right i don't want this video to end vux vux i don't want this video to silence vux vux or his wife I want this video to spark a change. Now, obviously, I can't control them. It's up to them. If they don't change, then something will change. Whether that be you being a former fan of Vux Vux, stop watching his weird shit, and he'll stop posting his weird shit. Something will change, because he doesn't know the impact that these videos have on little kids, too. If they're being exposed to this type of shit at an early ass age, that's not good. The way he talks in his shorts, appeal to little kids i'm just asking well come on bro i just want you guys to know to the new viewers thank you so much for watching this video to the ogs i just want you guys to know y'all are the reason this year has been one of the best years of my life bro i started this year off with a dead channel 40,000 subscribers now i'm ending this year thriving videos with hundreds of thousands and millions of views sitting at 120,000 subscribers matter of fact after i'm done recording this story i'm about to record another video and that's the unboxing video of the play button yup it finally came in i hope your 2023 was good sending love to y'all niggas right now hoping y'all 2024 is way better because i know mine will be too man 2023 being crazy for me though i'm not gonna lie bro to the ogs hope it's been cool watching me grow show me i'm watching y'all grow too within the community the discord server join that up right now man join we're all community nigga we're all movement nigga clean the internet y'all niggas know what's going on shout out to swag crafter and Javon for being in this video shout out to my homie tom 2024 you're gonna see way more from me and my brothers man feel me even though i'm not named jim but i'm a gym all right y'all gonna get to know him in this new year more every day grateful for y'all niggas that's facts keep your head up no matter what things have gotten hard for me this year and i'm sure they will every, uh, things will always get hard for us keep your head up time is ticking live to the fullest and with that love y'all niggas i catch y'all what vux vux is the most popular roblox youtuber but if you want to see me expose the worst roblox youtuber or tiktoker check out this video right now